Hello dear students, welcome to Medical Globe. This is Dr. Hadi here. Uh, dear students, today's topic is what is the difference or comparison between peptide, polypeptide and protein because these are related terms that are used in our books of biochemistry. The first is peptide. Peptide can be studied in two ways. Number one, either, either it can be studied as if we attach one term that is bond, peptide bond, it got its meaning, means when you have one amino acid and there is, an, uh, there is another amino acid, two amino acids, the bond that is formed between these two amino acids, that bond is called as peptide bond. So peptide, if you link it with bond, then the meaning of peptide is this one. Okay. Now, in the other, in other way, how we can study that peptide? A peptide can also be referred to as when many amino acids, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, are attached, linked with that. Polymer will be will also be called as peptide. Peptide. So simple. This is a very general word. Peptide. Usually we uh, use the word peptide along with bond. Peptide bond means when there is one bond between the two amino acids, we call it dipeptide. Dipeptide. And when a third amino acid is attached, we call it tripeptide. And when a fourth amino acid is attached, we call it tetra. Similarly, you can go forward penta for five amino acids, hexa, hepta, nine and ten. Okay, after 10, a specific word will be used for the combination of the amino acids. That is called as the polypeptide. What is polypeptide? A peptide, look how I see in general, a peptide, a peptide which contain more than 10 amino acids, more than 10, 12, 20, 14. That chain will be called as polypeptide. And there is another word, protein. What is protein? A peptide, again I say peptide, a peptide which contain more than 50 amino acid more than 50 60 70 100 200 but this was old definition Re in recent studies a slight modification has made in in the definition of the polypeptide and protein what is that modification i will tell you now for a protein that must contain a quaternary structure must contain a quaternary structure means when there is one polypeptide and there is another polypeptide two three four when two or more than two polypeptide chains are linked with one another that is called as quaternary structure so now you can call it a protein because there is quaternary cell although there may be a thousand amino acid or maybe there are 200 amino acid whatsoever but the criteria for a polypeptide to be called a protein that must contain quaternary structure means number of amino acids is not a big issue the shape of the polypeptide must be quaternary right that's gone now the poly polypeptide here i have mentioned more than 10 means less than 50 but in the research it is said that maybe 200 amino acids 
maybe 200 amino acid there is a polypeptide chain is a polypeptide chain contain many amino acid more than 10 100 200 amino acid but that chain that polypeptide has not acquired the quaternary structure so it will still be called as a polypeptide so it is up to you whether you stuck with the old definition or with the new definition is also up to you this is all about the difference between the comparison between peptide polypeptide and protein it was, it was a very short video once again because my students there are some students who like short videos so i have short videos as well uh, as well as long videos as well for my students for my dear students uh, i hope you enjoyed watching my video thanks for watching the video and also as i say spread peace and prosperity how much you can please do this for me you will love your uh, your life you will enjoy your life and a big change will come inside you so thank you bye bye